This is Ryan Eschenberg with the Lone Star Conference. We are here for the Lone Star Conference Online Media Day. We are joined here with women's head of basketball coach Angela Lawson. Uh, what, what's your expectations for this upcoming season? Well, definitely to have a better season we had last year. Um, I mean, our goal has always been since I came here 11 years ago for us to win a conference championship and go to the NCAAs, and um, that's never going to change. Uh, we're really excited about the players we have returning that played a lot of minutes for us last year and then also the newcomers that we brought in. So um, we're going to go for a conference championship, and um, I think we have the talent that we can, can get one. And uh, you were a very young team last year. Yes. And uh, can you talk about some of the returners that you'll be, uh, that you think you'll make a pretty big impact this year? Sure, sure. Um, Ify Mora, uh, she was a freshman last year with second team all conference. Um, I know she averaged double figures and probably seven or eight boards a game. She uh, has improved from last year, very quick, very athletic. We're hoping to be able to play her on the perimeter. Last year I had to play her inside. Uh, also, um, Chloe Wallace. Uh, post player for us and Katie Cook. They played really a lot of quality minutes for us last year. I think Chloe was like second in the conference in rebounding. Uh, she also averaged double figures. Katie averaged double figures. So I think um, those three have shown improvement from last year and we're expecting um, them to continue to lead this basketball team. And Do you think that any newcomers to this year's team will make an immediate impact? Sure. Um, I mean we signed five new players and uh, you know, there's two in particular that stick out, uh, Jocelyn Jarman, um, she's a three-point shooter, she's a driver, she's a big guard, she's a 5'10 guard, and that's pretty big at this level. Um, she does a lot of intangibles, and then uh, Ashlyn Green, uh, she's also a junior college transfer, uh, extremely quick and athletic. Uh, we expect her to be our defensive stopper, which we did not really have one last year. Um, so those two I think we're expecting a lot of, not to mention the rest of them we're expecting things, but I think those two off the top of my head from what I've seen thus far. Um, I think those two um, initially will make the most impact for us. And as a coaching staff, do you, uh, do you guys pride yourselves on having a team that will go out there and score the most points, more points than anyone else out there, or uh, have a team that will you know, consistently give up the least amount of points? Well, I think that's a kind of double-edged sword. I mean, bottom line, whoever has the most points is going to win at the end of the night. I mean, I would like for this basketball team to take on the mentality that we're going to win a conference championship. Uh, we're going to go to the NCAAs with defense and rebound. And sure, do I like a high-powered offense? Do I like transition up tempo? Yeah, and that's what we're going to do. That's what we went to the NCAA tournament with a couple years ago. So, um, you know, defensively, that's what I would like my team to take pride in. That that's how we're going to win basketball in that games because you can control your effort on defense. You can't always control where the ball is going to go in the hole on the offensive end. And speaking of the conference championships, they'll be hosting it this year. Yeah, in Allen, Texas, at a uh, at a new venue for the Lone Star Conference Championships, have you gotten a chance to take a look at that venue? And what do you think? Uh, sure, we went up there. They had a Lone Star Conference head coaches meeting, men's and women's, last spring, and we, uh, Coach Burmeister and I, flew up there. Uh, the facility is just incredible. It's in a great location, um, from restaurants to hotels. Uh, you know, I think it's a lot of the coaches are excited about it being there instead of in Oklahoma. So um, I think it's going to be a great venue. Just hope we can get some people out um, at that location to come watch us play. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. And uh, this has been the Women's Basketball Media Day at Incarnate Word. Okay. Thank you.